Shiloh 2022. I stand on this exalted altar. My name is Deacon, Deaconess Josephine Haber. I bring you greetings from LFC, Nima, Benue State. I stand today on this exalted altar as a testimony in itself. I give God glory. I purposed in my heart when Papa declared in 2020 the church planting agenda. I was sitting down somewhere there and I said to God, my Shiloh sacrifice and desire in my heart is to build two churches for you. And God, it was like it's not going to work. There was nothing in my hand, but my father says if it's in my heart, he will put it in my hand. To the glory and honor of his holy name, only when it came into my hand, heavens opened. As we began to work on the church, God gave me personally a house. I have never had my own house in my life. I live with many children, but I have always lived in a rented apartment. And then it was like a joke, like a dream. God gave the organization which he used me in this auditorium to found for him about 20 years ago. He bought for that organization the first property that was her office the same, this same year. It was like that is so much before we could get out of that. Just last month, I think the second uh, in the series of uh, Shiloh, pre-Shiloh and counter services, God did the wonder. God did the one that my mouth could not say. God bought for us a property in the heart of Abuja for his own organization. I return to say thank you, Jesus. Give the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords miracle properties, plural, via Shiloh sacrifice. Are you clapping your hands together for him? Praise the Lord. The God of Shiloh did it for us. Our names are Mr. and Mrs. John Momo. The God of Shiloh did it for us. Last year, my wife was having this discomfort in her system. So she went to the hospital. She did scan, and the scan said um, she has infection. So we were treating infection. Meanwhile, I was praying kingdom advancement, praying to God to bring soul to the kingdom. So as she was doing that, later she started this bleeding. She bleeded for one month and a week. Before we know it, we came down to Shiloh last year, 2021. She danced like a wounded lion, and the bleeding stopped that same day. As if that was not enough, unknowing to us that my precious wife, she's even pregnant. On the seventh month, she delivered this precious baby. She delivered the baby at home. We were not expectants. We were just praying kingdom advancement. She delivered at home, and this is Princess Naomi on Nike. That is after four years of waiting. Are you celebrating the King of Kings? Praise the Lord. My name is Emmanuel Laude. I want to thank God for what God has done for me in this great commission. I was HIV positive for 19 years. Yesterday, I visited Shiloh after the healing class. That was my first time in Shiloh. I, visit, I was in the healing class. After the prayer and the deliverance, the uh, pastor said that somebody is here, is HIV positive, is going to be tested negative today. And I key into it. I rushed to the clinic after healing service and I was tested negative. I want to recall the Celebrate the King of Kings. 19 years. HIV positive turn negative. Shiloh 2022. I just come to say, my name is Tualade Obatunde from Kapanom Rajioba. I just came to say thank you to the God of Shiloh. Last year, I came to Shiloh battered and heavily indebted. 
I did my kingdom prayers. Even I didn't want to come to Shiloh. I felt disconnected. But along the line, I came. Holy Spirit held me to come. So right, why writing for the Shiloh sacrifice? I told God I don't have nothing. But though, and I, I purposed in my mind that my first contract, contract of 2022, I will half it and give God. So while I was writing, the Holy Spirit told me, what made you think I still can't give you a contract in this year, 2021? And my pain literally stopped until I write. I wrote my first contract, 2021. After Shiloh Thanksgiving on Sunday, I got home Monday, I was called for a job. That job paid my debt and launched me into the realms of paying my Shiloh sacrifice in millions. As if that is not enough, praise the Lord. All through 2022, God expanded my horizon. I began to learn to those in the U.S. God delivered me via the mantle. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Celebrate the Lord for amazing financial breakthroughs via Shiloh Sacrifice. Praise the Lord. My name is Chioma Opara. I've come to give God all the glory he deserves. Last Shiloh, I vowed to give the Lord 20% of my salary for the whole year as my Shiloh sacrifice, and God engraced me to do this. This year, the Lord blessed us with a new son, a new car, and a piece of land. Also, on the 13th of November, 2022, during the second service, I was talking with Jesus, and I said, Lord, this place has become too small for us. Enlarge our coast. And the Lord responded immediately with an instruction. He said, make a project out of it as you have been taught, and do what others have done. Thereafter, I wrote down the following. Operation change of levels before Shiloh 2022. Kingdom advancement prayers, 30 minutes to one hour daily. I shared this with my husband, and we began to engage, praying specifically for Shiloh 2022. By the 18th of November, my husband got a new job. By the 25th of November, I was referred for a job at a multinational. And by the 6th of December, the morning of Shiloh, I signed the offer for a position with the multinational that would take me at least 10 years to get to my present place of work with a monthly package that is far beyond my entire Shiloh sacrifice for the whole of 2022. I have come to give God all the glory. Let's celebrate the Lord's supernatural turnaround via Shiloh sacrifice. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. You are the next to testify. <laughs> 